Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's take a kind of sort of interesting mountain road picture and make it more interesting. First of all, let's crop it right down a bit more. We're going to crop till in front of the car, but we're going to put some headlights on the car because we're going to make this dark. So we need some space for the headlights to go. And then we'll bring the other side in. How much do we need? A kind of bit of the mountain there with a, with a stream. We'll get the top of the tree there. And that'll do. We'll apply that. There you go, that's a little bit better. Now what we're going to do is we're going to Control J to duplicate, Control I to invert, and then I'm going to blend those two together. So I click on the blend modes and go down. You can look at what happens as you go down here, but I know where I'm going. And go to subtract and what this has done here is a lot of this has gone dark but we've got some nice interesting things around here so it's a bit too dark so I'm going to go down to the opacity and bring that down so we can see a bit of the tree so it looks like it's evening and there we go and the whites are still still visible we could darken that down but this is okay now what I'm going to do is going to put some lights on the car so I'm going to control and roll my mouse wheel in here so I can get a bit closer to this. There we go. There. Now I'm going to click down here to add a new pixel layer. I'm going to do the headlights first. So I go to a brush. Look at what I've got up here. I'm going to have turn opacity right up, hardness right down, and make it a bit small here, but a nice sort of good size blob on there. Come down a bit, make it a bit smaller, and a blob there. And kind of a blob over there, and a smaller blob in there. So there you go, there's some headlights. If you need a bit more on them, you can always put another blob on top. Yeah, that's a bit better. Right, now I wanted some beams coming down here. I'm going to do that on another layer so I can change that layer to sort of fit in. So now we've got another pixel layer. We'll use the same brush and we're going to draw the beam. So just imagine where the beams are going to go and I'm going to click on the light and then I go down to where it's going to go and hold shift key. And because you hold shift key and click you get a line. But if, if it goes a bit blobby just click back the other way and it'll fill in. Then I'll have another bit down here and fill in there and then I can just paint in the rest. I know it's a bit bright but that we're going to fade that off shortly. So and then I'm going to go to the next one, click on here and down there for a light and back again and over here and for light and back again and fill in the rest here. And I'm also going to turn the opacity down fairly low and make a sort of bigger brush and put some softness around the edge of this because you can get this kind of spill. There. Now then what we want to do is to make this a little bit more realistic. So look at the blend modes again. And just scan down to see where it goes. Soft lights, kind of okay, but it's a little bit on the faded side. Where else could we go? What does screen like? The screen's a bit bright. Overlay's not going to do anything. Hard light's too much. Let's do the soft light, but what we'll do is we'll duplicate this in a moment. So we'll just hit go to there and if I hit Control J, there we go. So I've copied the layer and I've copied the effect again. I could hit Control J again. Let's go to the full picture to see if what that one's like. Uh, maybe a bit too much, so I'm going to right click on that and delete it. And I can sort of tidy up some bits around here and maybe a bit more white and so on. So there we go. We've got the car at night going down here 
you can do little adjustments maybe put a little bit of lightness in the road there and you can change the darkness and do other things but let's look at the difference between the original back there kind of all the picture and there we've added a lot more drama to that there you go hope you like that and thank you very much for watching